second tin is about putting ink onto a plate of some sort. We've got a perspex plate here. And then putting something onto that ink and making an impression. It's good. Spread it out a little bit further. This is a water-based ink that I'm using here. It's a block printing ink. Thank you. And then you need your pump material that you've picked. And you need to place that. Can you see it's got a smoother and a rough side? The rough side where the veins are, that's going to make the best impression. self-employed artist and so that encompasses quite a lot of things of which this is a part. Um, all my art is based on working from the landscape and I do that out in nature so while I'm out walking I collect different plant material, leaves, feathers and I document them as I go along. So in this little booklet was my first sketchbook where I started using this process. work I'm starting to get other people asking me if I would combine my uh, plant prints in different ways with different things so I'm starting to work with a young lady who um, makes clothes that was lovely Irish tweed and she was looking for something very different to line them with and so I'm working on a nettle print that can be printed onto silk to line these clothes. Nettle print in silk for inner lining. <laughs> thing that is spiky and makes you feel ow but is actually very beautiful and so mm. What I like about this method is yeah. um, it gives all the little bits of plant material, every single plant, they develop their own personality and for me it's not about making the perfect plant print or a pretty picture, it's about the support, the paper, the ink and the plant all having their own say in one way to, um, to make something that is very different and rather beautiful. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 